Do you want to learn how to make your own worm composter? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. They're all just different names for a worm composter, which is just like a normal composter, but it uses worms, and worms eat the food and process it more quickly than a traditional composter does. So they're able to be kept indoors if you so choose. Just so you all know, I don't use my worm composter for the purpose of making compost for my garden. I don't really have a garden, so I use it solely for the purpose to prevent food waste from going to the landfill and creating methane. If you want to learn more about that, check out my food waste video, which will be linked in the description. However, if you do want to use the compost from your worm garden in your garden, there's some different ways you can set up your worm bin and feed the worms in order to make collecting the compost a little more easier. So the first thing you need to do in order to start your worm garden is decide what size container you want to work with. There is no special reason why I chose this container. It was in the middle aisle of Walmart. It was like $5, so I chose it. It was a nice medium sized container that fits in the area uh, that I keep it in really nicely. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, whatever you wanna use. If you're not sure how big you should go, just start small and work up from there. <laughs> So now we are ready to actually put together the worm bin. I have my container and I have put some dirt in the container. Some forums and websites will say to use just shredded paper. Uh, I tried that, it didn't work too well for me. So I use dirt and shredded paper. Uh, so I shredded this paper earlier. It was actually an old calculus test from last semester. Once you have the bedding in there, you're gonna wanna spray it down a little bit and make it nice and moist. Worms breathe through their skin so they need uh, a nice moisture layer to help them with that. Now we are ready to add our worms. So we take our worms. All right, you're gonna wanna let them sit and rest for about a week before you start putting your food scraps in. Now that you have put together the perfect worm garden, let's start feeding them your food scraps. There is a link to a full list of what you should and should not feed your worms below, but I'm going to go over some of the basics on how to feed them. First, if you are keeping your garden inside, it is important to chop up your food scraps as much as you can. This will make it easier for the worms to eat and process the scraps. Also, when you put your food in the bin, make sure you bury it. Worms don't like to come to the surface and this will also prevent flies and other pests from finding the food scraps. If you are keeping your bin outdoors and the smell doesn't really matter, you don't really have to worry about chopping up the food and you can throw whole food right in there. About twice a week, you should aerate the worm farm and add moisture if necessary. Loosening up the soil helps the worms move around easier. What I do is when I go to feed them, I will shake up the bin and move the soil. I'll put the food on one side and then bury it and move all the soil to the other side. This helps aerate it and bury the scraps all in one. If you do all this, you will have a happy worm garden that will eat your food waste and help keep it out of the landfills. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.